Okay, the first order of business today is going to be to clean this mess up right here. So as you can see, the new construction home. My in-laws built this house. It was completed last year. They had a driveway extension added on, but unfortunately, because we've had 400 inches of rain this year, uh, pretty much when they put it on, it was completely soaked underneath. So what that led to was just a sub base that was wet and really wouldn't allow much drainage. So what you have right here is even though it's been 90 degrees now for the last, I don't know, week or so with sun every day, you come over here and see, you can see how completely wet this clay is still. So when I drive through it with the uh, 1734, um, you know, that's a 3,000 pound tractor and with a loader, another 900 pounds and with maybe a five, 600 pound box plate on the back of it, you're still, it's still not a real heavy tractor, but you can see the impact that it's making in the mud right here because it's still so wet. So the whole idea here is to uh, add a little height to this turnout right here with this gravel. Unfortunately, they dumped it right in the middle of the turnout. Um, so I'm going to have to move that first and then go ahead and start working around it, leveling it up a little bit with the uh, bucket and box blade. Um, then at that point, um, probably later today, I'll go through the uh, backside right here. And it'll have a little time to, to dry on the surface. And I've got a lot of fill dirt right here, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, and pack that in, and then just maybe create a nice little sloping grade in that direction. You can see just from the video here that the land naturally slopes that direction, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get this water out of here. Um, it just needs a little time to get this dry on top here, otherwise I'll keep going through it and create some ruts. If it's still bad by the end of today, um, I may just fill those holes in and uh, probably let it dry out a little bit longer depending on what it looks like by the end of the day so uh, I'll probably go ahead and take this dirt right here and like I said I'll level it up right here I'll just create a nice little drop and you can see there's already a nice natural slope from the house downward um, I just need to get the water out in that direction because the entire property rolls downhill from that point. so uh, I'll go ahead and take a video a little bit later and show you what it looks like completely. 